Welcome to Dining with Dan. So it's that time of year again, we got Mardi Gras coming up. In honor of that, I'm going to make fried gator po' boys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for this, here I have a pound of alligator meat. It's basically a tail, it's an alligator tail. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna drain this. I'm gonna take, put that on the cutting board. And basically, tear this apart. I'm gonna cut this into bite sized pieces. I'm gonna take a steak. these into, into a bowl. And, I mean, there's no science to it. I guess you kind of, if you're frying them, you want to, well, you want a pretty even sized, I guess. Like I said, basically just bite-sized pieces. Okay, once we've got that cut up into bite-sized pieces, we're going to take a quart of buttermilk. We're just going to pour that in there. Shake it up a bit. Throw that in the fridge, we're gonna let this soak for about an hour. So cover it up. Come back in an hour and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so it's been an hour. We're basically going to take uh, take this out of the fridge, drain it, and take a half cup of flour and a half cup of cornmeal. Mix that up real well. Take a tablespoon of seasoning salt. Mix that in there. I'm going to heat our oil up. Here I have a frying pan full of oil. I'm going to heat that up about medium high heat. Now we're going to take our pieces and dredge those in the flour mix. Never had alligator, you really gotta check this out. It's really good stuff. Alright, once those are done, we're gonna move over to the stove and we'll fry these up. Okay, so once those are dredged and ready and the oil is heated up. I'm going to take a few of these at a time and throw those in. Be 
you don't want to crowd it. Keep them so they're not touching. A few minutes on each side till they're completely finished. Completely done. Thoroughly on both sides. And that. I want them a little darker than that, though. I want to make sure these are really well cooked. All right, let's get those nice golden brown and take and put those over onto some paper towels. Keep doing this until they're all cooked. Alright. So once those are all done, we'll, pick those and we'll move on to the next step of making a sandwich. Move on the table and I'll get that going. Okay. So once that uh, once that alligator is done, you can uh, you can eat it straight if you want. One way I like to eat it is in a po' boy, po' boy. So basically, you take a hoagie and spread some uh, Cajun mayo on it. So the Cajun mayo is basically just a cup of mayonnaise with a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. You want to basically mix that up and just let it sit in the fridge for about a about an hour. Just spread that on the bread. And then you're gonna take some shredded lettuce, slap that on there. Take some uh, pickled jalapeno, and that's optional. You don't have to. Give a little kick though. And we're gonna take our alligator and we'll slap that on there. With these nuggets. And there you have it. Try this out. Full of flavor. I love French, I love New Orleans, Cajun food. Delicious. Anyway, if you like this recipe, you want to try it out for yourself, I'll put it down in the description below. If you like this video, you want to see more like it, please subscribe.
plan on going to Mardi Gras. See you there. I'll be the one with the bag full of beads. I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.